Hey, Jason Arts here with Lapop. I'm going to go over our new stocking tool. Now, initially, you know, all of our clients, we run through uh, their lot score. You're going to see lot score up here, powered by Lapop. Uh, but we've created a lot stock which is our stocking tool here um, this is going to be a separate uh, item for our current clients and people that are not clients can have access to this uh, this is right now primi primarily built around uh, v auto clients we are working with max digital right now to get the data that should be coming shortly um, but one of the reasons you know we are not competitors of a v auto or max digital or anything like that we use help use your data that's in their systems to to uh, maybe enhance reporting give provide you some insight or deeper dives in the stuff that you might not be able to get out of those systems that we think is valuable and so we the combination of what we're doing plus their products uh, will give you a really strong hold on, on, on what to do on your on your lot so uh, with that being said, our stocking tool, uh, let's talk about, let's say right now, B Auto. Uh, it has nothing to do with their, their stocking uh, as far as th the value of their stocking tool and the um, stock wave and stuff. You still want to use those systems to can get balance uh, things out because what we're pulling in here is historical data. Now, V Auto has historical data. You can go look at your sold history and pull it out and dump it into an Excel. Uh, if you have the provision grade, part of the provision provision grade is uh, experience. Uh, the downside on that, you have to have provision grade, but two, it just looks at make model. And then three is all those uh, things in your provision grade. And there's about eight items in there that they're weighted between zero and 10. So like uh, demand and interest and day supply, you rank the, the value of that. You think day supply is real important. So you might put it at an eight where maybe history might not be very important because you also want to look at market data. You might have history at a one or two so you got to check that out just to get some historical data out of there so and, and then in the provisioning they show you if you're heavier light in certain segments and, and and down to the dollar so again it's a deeper dive plus you get to do the appraisal amount and auction see where they're at so this is just an added uh, volume to those to give you a historical a lot of dealers are probably doing this manually themselves on their sheets on their excel sheets and this is what we're trying to accomplish for dealers to give you some deeper dive in historical data down to the year make model and trim so one of the first things here and what you'll see similar here um, is uh, but we will have it trended out is like in the provision and what i mean by that is we could show you if you're heavy or light uh, let's say right here we're looking at intermediate cars right and um, an intermediate car we could see they have average age in stock is 25 days they're priced at 92 percent they sell in 22 days at 90 percent of the market in stock they have 20 in stock uh, they sold 15 uh, so really they're five heavy right now uh, that's where uh, the auto wouldn't tell them to go get any because they're looking at current uh, 45 day sale rates and right now the dealer is heavy compared to what they sell now we do and that's why it's orange kind of like our asterisk we've got what we call predictors if we know they're selling at 22 days old at 90 percent they got 12 currently in stock right now that are older than 22 days old and priced more aggressive than 90 percent so predictably they got about 12 about ready to leave their lot we want you you to be proactive on your stocking so we you take the negative five that they're heavy in on their sale rate with the 12 about ready to leave you know that averages out to a total buy of about seven that that dealer is going to want to go after so start being proactive and go after that um, and we can sort this either way we can also look at what we're really heavy in and make sure that those are moving look at the average age and how they're priced and make sure they're getting moving but we're not just looking at class we can do the same thing by year and again it's defaulted to look at our highest volume of years they need some 2015s uh, even to their current inventories at 22 days or 22 units they sell 28 so they need six but they also have about seven about ready to leave so they should be going after about 13 if you're being proactive and this is the strength of this lot predictor this is where dealers can carry 100 and sell 120 because we're staying ahead of the stocking if that makes sense okay so it gets you to stay ahead of stocking we also can look at make all the way down to makes uh, they this is a ford store but they need some gmc's uh, again they have 13 in stock sold 13 so the system of like Viato would say don't need any, but they also have five about ready to sell. 
that are older than 42 days. Remember, they sell at 42 days. They sold 13 of them in 42 days at 91%. So he's got five that are older than that, priced more aggressive than that. So he should already be looking for some of those replacements. Now, um, same with certified. Every certified, uh, one of we're working in here, where the dealer has some cars that are marked certified. Even though he's a Ford store, he doesn't have Volvos or these XC40s were that's being fixed uh, as of today you know it won't show it's only going to show Fords. but let's go to the fusions here um, again how, what he has in stock by average age and price to market what they sell at he has two in stock sold nine so he needs seven just to keep up on his certified fusions okay so one of the things that the oems really don't provide is what cpo cars are moving well in my lot and uh even you know uh, so we isolate cpo and then we look at down to the model and say okay of fusions um we need some fusions for a certified program and a lot of dealers try out certified they're not and they're not, end up not being successful but it could be a stocking issue so if uh my fusions are the ones i need the most of i need eight of them i need five focuses what the one thing that we can do and again we can do it with class and year and make or certified is i can click on fusion here and it takes me to the actual year make model and trims of our stock so what i was just showing you was our lot predictor and again i'm going to go to certified and if i need some certified fusions i can click on fusions you can see right here we've got it narrowed down to just fusions and certified only and here we rank your need by how they're scoring out we we, we don't rank your need based on just unit needs um, we rank the vehicles based on one how fast do they sell and if there's profit so we have a scoring system to reference what cars you should go after first one of the scoring system is if they sell faster than 30 days or 30 days or faster and we made at least $500 profit if that's a vehicle the car will get two points for selling faster than 30 days and making at least $500 profit and we also remember we looked at do we need the year yes it gets a point for that so now it gets three points because it sold in 20 days with $2,300 markup we need the year we don't need the make we're okay with Fords we don't need the class but we need it for certified so that's the fourth point so this car uh, 2017 Ford Fusion SEs are the ones that we need um, you know if we're going to go after some fusion certified fusions these are the ones to go after the 17 fusion se's the 15 fusion se's 17 fusion titaniums 15 fusion titaniums now what i would do is copy and paste this year make model trim put it into your stock waves and go look for that car and see if we can replace those vehicles okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna clear this so our lot stock is actually broken down into um again the predictor give us an idea of what segments and stuff we need to use this lot stock is we're looking at the last 45 days and you see the scoring right here these cars are ranked they're getting five points again because we they sell faster than 30 days and we've made over 500 dollars profit two points there we need this year we need this make and we need this class so 2015 Volkswagen Jetta 2.0 liter TDI SEs um, now he only has one in stock and he sold one uh, so it doesn't need any but again predictably we might need some to be leaving so what we allowed you to do is you can narrow it down by year you can narrow it down by make and model you can narrow it down by series you can narrow it down by class you can narrow it by certified or only or other but what i really like is up top here okay the franchise so i can just i'm a ford star i just want to look at my ford sales that sold faster than 30 days and we made some profit boom if i click on that there's these cars now if i want to look at this list by need I can sort it by need okay we're looking at how many you have in stock how many you've sold you need six you know they, they in, in stock is 13 days old the sold took 22 days how we own them at uh, average cost to market we own at 87 percent price at 97 percent they sell at 84 percent a cost to market at 95 percent price to market but again if I look at 2004 escape SEs I need this year but I don't need the make I don't need the class I do need it for certified so 
Um, I think the best way to look at it is by looking at the scoring. And again, take this year make model trim, go throw that in your V Auto and your stock wave, appraise it, figure out where they're at, what you want to pay for them. But historically, here's that information. I can reset this grid. And let's say I need some, I, I'm kind of Ford heavy and I need some other makes or I want to dabble in some other stuff that, you know, is done well on my lot. And up here, I can determine the time of, I can look at the last 14 days sale rate, 30, 45, 60, 90, 120 days, six months or a year. So if I want to go look at last 45 days, other sales, non-Fords and says, let's look at non-Fords, but they sold faster than 30 and we made at least a grand on them. I don't want to waste my time if I'm not making any money on them right so here's that list again and i can sort it by any way that i want to going back to the 15 volkswagen jetta 2.0 liter tdi SEs, right we need that year we need that make we need that class they're selling it within 17 days um the one i did sell and it made good money so maybe i want to try to duplicate that car again all right now what i do like about this is we can do it um with cars that lost money stay away here's cars that we want to stay away from or made minimal money on it and maybe try not to duplicate those cars we can export this list uh, we can export any of these lists into an excel spreadsheet to get to a buyer um here's what really cool narrow here's one that will sat these cars will satisfy all your needs you need the year you need the make and you need the class and again i could sort this by score and here are the cars that will kill multiple birds with one stone. If you need the year, you need the make, you need the class. And here's the list of cars. And then ones maybe to avoid that took too long to sell and we didn't make any money. But a lot of times, guys, like these are great. But, you know, a lot of these are trades that I can't duplicate again. Fine. We can look at purchase only. Let's look at the cars that were purchases. Now, the way we're doing this right now, if you end your stock number in A, B, C's, and D's, we can isolate those as being trade-ins, and then we know the rest are purchases, and that's how these are isolated here. These are just purchases. And if you can say, okay, I, I want some purchases, but I also know I need some 2000 and 2015s in my inventory. Here's the 2015s that you purchased. All right. So, again, I'm going to clear this out. And let's go back to this lot predictor and I'm going to go to, you know, uh, make and I can sort it by the biggest need. I need some GMCs. I can obviously click there and then I can do purchase only and narrow down the GMCs that I purchased. Because, again, the GMCs that I trade it, if they're older ones or lower miles or certain things, they're a little bit harder. But if I've been able to purchase them before, they're right here. And again, we can change it to any dates. All right, so this is a stocking tool that we're going to be able to provide for everybody, give you some historical data. Um, this is stuff you might be tracking yourself, but maybe not this in depth and as quick as to be able to move this information around. Uh, we're going to charge $4.95 to this for any uh, non lot pop clients. And so if you're interested, if you're a current client, let us know. Um, we're going to do $2.95 for our current clients, uh, but a $4.95 on non clients. And again, this is going to make it so easy. You can print these all out, and copy and paste the year make model trim, put it in your, in your stock wave and use that data along with ours to help make more better stocking decisions let me know what you'd like uh, think if you want a demo go to www.lotpop.com get a free inventory valuation put in there that you want to look at our lot stock and um would we'll definitely give you a, a demo on it but this i wanted to get out give people some better understanding this is kind of a demo on it and again if you're v auto but you want some deeper data and on sales history and again this will use this in, in, in conjunction with what you already get out of the be out on the market data and it'll just help you stock your inventory more effectively 844 lot pop 4 j rice at lotpop.com